Today we're going to be talking about the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants, the ACCA, and how you can become a Chartered Certified Accountant in South Africa. Welcome to Brilliant Academic, the channel where we cover all things related to careers in academics. The Association of Chartered Certified Accountants is a global professional accounting body that offers the ACCA qualification, which is recognized and respected worldwide. The ACCA qualification is designed to provide individuals with the skills and knowledge required to pursue a career in accounting, finance, and business. ACCA offers a comprehensive and rigorous program that covers various areas of accounting, including financial accounting, management accounting, taxation, auditing, corporate law, and financial management. The qualification consists of a series of exams practical experience requirements, and an ethics module. By obtaining the ACCA qualification, individuals demonstrate their competence and expertise in accounting and finance. ACCA members are considered chartered certified accountants and can work in various roles, including financial management, audit and assurance, taxation, consulting, and more. The qualification is recognized by employers globally and provides opportunities for career advancement and international mobility. To become a Chartered Certified Accountant in South Africa, individuals can follow the pathway provided by the ACCA. The ACCA qualification is recognized and respected globally, including South Africa. Here is a step-by-step -step guide to becoming a Chartered Certified Accountant in South Africa. 1. Eligibility There are no specific entry requirements in terms of prior qualifications or experience. However, to progress through the qualification, it is advisable to have a good understanding of mathematics and English. 2. Register with ACCA Visit the ACCA website and create an account. Register as a student with ACCA by providing the necessary personal details and paying the registration fee. 3. Choose the appropriate pathway Determine the most suitable pathway based on your prior qualifications and experience. The two main pathways are Foundations in Accountancy, and ACCA Qualification Pathway. When it comes to the Foundations in Accountancy Pathway, this pathway is for individuals without formal qualifications or prior accounting knowledge. It consists of three levels. Introductory Certificate, Intermediate Certificate in Financial and Management Accounting, and a Diploma in Accounting and Business. The Introductory Certificate is designed for individuals who have little or no prior knowledge or qualifications in accounting and finance. Here are the key details about the introductory certificate. Structure. The introductory certificate consists of three exams that provide an introduction to the essential concepts and principles of accounting and finance. The introductory certificate in financial and management accounting, FA1. This exam covers the fundamentals of financial accounting, including recording financial transactions, preparing financial statements, and understanding basic costing concepts. Introductory Certificate in Financial and Management Accounting, MA1. This exam introduces the principles of management accounting, focusing on cost classification, budgeting, and basic performance measurement. Introductory Certificate in Financial and Management Accounting, FA2. This exam builds on FA1 and covers more advanced financial accounting topics including preparation and interpretation of financial statements, accounting for partnerships and limited companies. 2. Syllabus The syllabus for each exam within the introductory certificate outlines the topics and knowledge areas candidates need to grasp. The syllabus is designed to provide a solid foundation in accounting principles and techniques. 3. Exam Format The exams in the introductory certificate are computer-based and consist of multiple choice questions. These exams assess candidates' understanding of the subject matter. The duration and format of each exam may vary, but generally they are two-hour exams. Study materials. ACCA provides study resources, including textbooks, study guides, and practice questions to help candidates prepare for the exams. These materials cover the content and concepts tested in each exam and assist candidates in their self-study process. Pass rates. The pass rates for the exams in the introductory certificate can vary from sitting to sitting. Adequate preparation, regular practice, and a clear understanding of the exam format contribute to higher success rates. After completing the introductory certificate exams, 
Candidates can progress to the Intermediate Certificate, which is the next level in the FIA pathway. The Intermediate Certificate builds upon the foundational knowledge gained in the Introductory Certificate and covers more advanced topics in Accounting and Finance. Intermediate Certificate in Financial and Management Accounting The Intermediate Certificate in Financial and Management Accounting IFMA, is designed to build on the foundational knowledge acquired in the Introductory Certificate. Here are some details on the Intermediate Certificate within the FIA pathway. Structure The Intermediate Certificate in Financial and Management Accounting consists of two exams. Intermediate Certificate in Financial Accounting FA2 This exam focuses on financial accounting principles, practices, and the preparation of financial statements. It covers topics such as accounting for limited companies, partnerships, and basic aspects of financial analysis. The Intermediate Certificate in Management Accounting, MA2. This exam delves into management accounting concepts, including costing methods, budgeting, performance measurement, and decision-making tools. Syllabus. The syllabus for each exam within the Intermediate Certificate outlines the topics and knowledge areas that candidates need to understand and apply. It provides a more comprehensive understanding of financial and management accounting principles and techniques. Exam Format The exams in the Intermediate Certificate are computer-based and consist of multiple choice questions. These exams assess candidates' knowledge and understanding of the subject matter. The duration and format of each exam may vary, but generally they are two-hour exams. The ACCA provides study resources including textbooks, study guides, and practice questions to support candidates in preparing for the exams. These materials cover the content and concepts tested in each exam, helping candidates in their self-study process. After successfully completing the intermediate certificate, candidates can proceed to the Diploma in Accounting and Business, which is the final level in the FIA pathway. The Diploma in Accounting and Business further expands on the knowledge gained in the previous levels and covers broader aspects of accounting, finance, and business. The Diploma in Accounting and Business is the final level of the Foundation in Accounting pathway offered by the Association of Chartered Certified Accountants. It is designed to provide individuals with a comprehensive understanding of accounting, finance, and business principles. Here are the key details about the Diploma in Accounting and Business. Structure The Diploma in Accounting and Business consists of three exams. The Diploma in Accounting and Business, FAB, this exam covers the fundamental principles of accounting and business, including the preparation of financial statements, interpretation of financial information, and understanding business structures and functions. The Diploma in Management Accounting, FMA. This exam focuses on management accounting techniques, cost and revenue analysis, budgeting, and performance measurement within organizations. Diploma in Financial Accounting, FFA. This exam builds on FAB, and covers advanced financial accounting topics such as preparation and analysis of financial statements, accounting standards, and the conceptual framework. The syllabus for each exam within the Diploma in Accounting and Business outlines the topics and knowledge areas that candidates need to master. The syllabus is designed to provide a strong foundation in accounting, finance, and business concepts. The exams in the Diploma in Business and Accounting are computer-based and consist of a mix of multiple choice questions and longer discursive questions. These exams assess candidates' understanding and application of accounting and business principles. The duration and format of each exam may vary, but generally, they are three-hour exams. The ACCA provides study resources including textbooks, study guides, and practice questions to support candidates in preparing for the exams. These materials cover the content and concepts tested in each exam, helping candidates in their self-study process. Upon successful completion of the Diploma in Accounting and Business, candidates have the option to continue their studies and pursue the ACCA qualification. The Diploma serves as a stepping stone towards the ACCA qualification, allowing candidates to receive exemption from the Applied Knowledge and Applied Skills levels of the ACCA qualification. The Diploma in Accounting and Business is a widely recognized qualification that demonstrates a solid understanding of accounting finance and business principles. It provides a strong foundation for individuals seeking entry-level positions in accounting and finance roles or those looking to progress further in their accounting careers. Completing the FIA pathway leads to a diploma in accounting and business and serves as a stepping stone to the ACCA qualification. Now to have a look at the ACCA qualification pathway. 
If you have prior qualifications or relevant experience, you can directly enter the ACCA qualification pathway. This pathway is divided into two levels, the Applied Knowledge Level and the Applied Skills Level. The Applied Knowledge Level focuses on building a strong foundation of knowledge and understanding in accounting and finance. Here are some key points about the Applied Knowledge Level. It consists of three exams, Accountant Business, AB, Management Accounting, MA, and Financial Accounting, FA. The Accountant and Business exam covers the fundamentals of business organization, management, and the role of accounting in business contexts. The Management Accounting exam focuses on the principles and techniques of management accounting, including costing, budgeting, decision-making, and performance evaluation. The Financial Accounting exam covers the preparation, presentation, and interpretation of financial statements in accordance with international accounting standards. The syllabus of each exam within the Applied Knowledge level outlines the topics and knowledge areas that candidates need to understand and apply. The syllabus is provided by the ACCA and is regularly updated to reflect changes in accounting standards and industry practices. The exams at the Applied Knowledge level are computer-based and consist of multiple choice questions. These exams assess candidates' knowledge and understanding of the subject matter. The duration and format of each exam may vary, but generally, they are two-hour exams. The ACCA provides study resources for each exam in the Applied Knowledge level. These materials include textbooks, study guides, past exam papers, and practice questions. Candidates can choose to self-study or opt for tuition providers that offer structured courses and support. The pass rate for the exams in the Applied Knowledge level can vary from sitting to sitting. It is important to allocate sufficient time for preparation and practice to increase the chances of success. After successfully completing the exams at the Applied Knowledge level, candidates can progress to the next level, which is the Applied Skills level. The Applied Skills level builds upon the foundational knowledge gained in the Applied Knowledge level and covers more advanced topics in accounting and finance. The Applied Skills level. This level further develops and applies the knowledge and skills acquired in the earlier stage. Here are some key details about the Applied Skills level. The Applied Skills levels consist of six exams and are divided into two modules, Module 1 and Module 2. Module 1 consists of the following, Corporate and Business Law, Performance Management, and Taxation. The Corporate and Business Law exam covers the legal framework and regulations relevant to business entities and their stakeholders. The Performance Management exam focuses on planning, decision-making, and performance measurement techniques within an organization. The Taxation exam covers the principles of taxation and their application to individuals and companies. Module 2 consists of the following. Financial Reporting, Audit and Assurance, and Financial Management. The Financial Reporting exam involves the preparation, analysis, and interpretation of financial statements in compliance with international accounting standards. The Audit and Assurance exam explores the principles and procedures of auditing and assurance engagements. The Financial Management exam covers financial management techniques, including investment decision-making, working capital management, and risk management. Each exam within the Applied Skills level has a detailed syllabus that outlines the topics and knowledge areas candidates need to master. The syllabus is designed to align with international accounting standards and industry-based practices. The exams at the Applied Skills level are computer-based and consist of a combination of object test questions and case study questions. The object test questions assess candidates' knowledge and understanding, while case study questions require candidates to apply their knowledge to practical scenarios. The duration and format of each exam may vary, but generally they are three-hour exams. The ACCA provides study resources, including textbooks, study guides, past exam papers, and practice questions for each exam in the Applied Skills level. Candidates can choose self-study or seek support from tuition providers that offer structured courses. After successfully completing the exams in the Applied Skills level, candidates can progress to the final level of the ACCA qualification, which is the Strategic Professional level. The Strategic Professional level builds on the knowledge and skills gained in the earlier levels and focuses on advanced accounting, finance, and strategic decision-making. Now going back to the general overview of the steps, number four, we have exams. Prepare for and attempt the ACCA exams 
according to the chosen pathway. The exams cover a range of subjects including financial accounting, management accounting, taxation, audit and assurance, financial management, and corporate law. The number of exams required depends on the pathway chosen. Practical experience. Alongside the exams, gain practical experience in the field of accounting and finance. The ACCA requires a minimum of three years of practical experience to qualify for membership. This experience can be gained before, during, or after the exams and must cover specific competency areas defined by the ACCA. These competency areas, also known as the performance objectives, are designed to develop and assess candidates' professional skills and abilities. Here are the specific competency areas required for the practical experience component of the ACCA qualification. Professionalism and ethics, governance, risk and control, stakeholder relationship management, strategy innovation, leadership and management, corporate reporting, financial management, audit and assurance, and business analysis. When it comes to professionalism and ethics, demonstrating integrity, ethical behavior, and professionalism in accounting and finance roles. This includes understanding and applying ethical codes and professional conduct and maintaining professional competence and complying with relevant laws and regulations. When it comes to governance, risk and control, understanding and applying principles of corporate governance, risk management and internal control systems. This involves identifying and assessing risks, designing and implementing control procedures, and contributing to effective governance practices. When it comes to stakeholder relationship management, managing relationships with stakeholders, both internal and external to the organization. This includes understanding stakeholder needs and expectations, communicating effectively, and providing professional advice and guidance. When it comes to strategy and innovation, contributing to the development and implementation of organizational strategy, and promoting innovation within the business. This involves analyzing strategic options, evaluating business performance, and suggesting improvements and innovations. When it comes to leadership and management, demonstrating leadership qualities and effective management skills in accounting and finance roles. This includes managing teams, setting objectives, delegating tasks, and motivating and developing staff. When it comes to corporate reporting, preparing and analyzing financial and non-financial information to support decision-making and reporting. This includes understanding and applying accounting standards, preparing financial statements, and analyzing and interpreting financial performance. When it comes to financial management, understanding and applying financial management principles and techniques. This involves managing financial resources, making investment decisions, managing working capital, and understanding the financial implications of business decisions. When it comes to audit and assurance, understanding the principles and procedures of auditing and assurance engagements. This includes planning and conducting audits, assessing risks, and ensuring compliance with auditing standards and regulations. When it comes to business analysis, applying analytical and problem-solving skills to understand and analyze business issues and provide recommendations. This involves conducting financial and non-financial analysis, evaluating business performance, and identifying areas for improvement. Candidates are required to complete the practical experience component by demonstrating competence in these specific competency areas through practical work experience in relevant accounting and finance roles. The ACCA practical experience requirement provides guidance on the expected performance levels for each competency area and requires candidates to submit a detailed record of their experience and accomplishments for assessment. It's important to note that the specific competency areas may be subject to updates or changes by the ACCA. Therefore, candidates should refer to the ACCA website or contact ACCA directly for the most up-to-date information and guidance on the practical experience requirements. Back to the overall steps. 6. Ethics Module Complete the Professional Ethics Module, which is an online course designed to enhance ethical awareness and decision-making skills. Professional Membership Once you have completed all the required exams, practical experience, and the Ethics Module, you can apply for professional membership with the ACCA. This grants you the designation of Chartered Certified Accountant and allows you to use the letters ACCA after your name. CPD and Lifelong Learning As a member, 
you're required to engage in continuing professional development activities to keep your skills and knowledge up to date throughout your career. It's important to note that South Africa has its own professional accounting body, the South African Institute of Chartered Accountants, which grants Chartered Accountant CA designation. While the ACCA is recognized in South Africa, if your goal is specifically to become a Chartered Accountant in South Africa, you may want to explore the requirements and pathway offered by SICA. Click here to find out how you can become a Chartered Accountant in South Africa. That's it you guys, thanks for watching. Do check out my other videos and as always, mischief managed.